thought I'd make a random Saturday night vlog, Saturday night in. It's one of my rare um, weekends where I haven't went out and I'm just not sure what to do with myself. My body felt like it needed a weekend in and the funds, I spent too much last weekend so it was probably the right decision to stay in Friday and Saturday but fuck am I bored. So I thought I would um, make a new YouTube video with this dodgy web camera. My hair's, my hair's not looking well. It's seen better days, but it's been a lot worse on YouTube, my hair. Anyways, um, I'm still undecided whether or not to watch WrestleMania 33. Um, what culture WWE are actually getting me more in interested in the WWE than WWE are, you know, of getting me into their current product. I mean, their current product. I mean, they've got all the stars in the world. They've got some fantastic talent, but they just push the wrong stars all the time. And I have ranted it about it a lot recently online. And I, I probably will watch WrestleMania 33. Um, the last time... I didn't watch a WrestleMania live was WrestleMania 2000 because I was away in Orlando at the time. That's a long time ago now. So my WrestleMania live streak could be coming to an end, but it probably won't. Um, we'll see. Uh, WrestleMania has been in my life since like 992. I remember I watched WrestleMania 8 the next day after it was on um, Sky Movies Plus at the time. It's going way back. Um, and I've seen Hulk Culture, WWE, were doing the, a great series they're doing at the moment. You know, 10 fascinating facts on WrestleManias and they've reached WrestleMania 8. And I agree with them about WrestleMania 8. WrestleMania 8 was um, a great show. Um, you know, I've always had a soft spot for it because it was my first WrestleMania experience. But looking back, I was kind of spoiled with that show, you know, with the stars on the show. And there was a couple of five-star matches. You know, Ric Flair v. Savage was a great match, I thought. And Bret Hart versus Piper. And, of course, that very memorable moment by the Warrior returning. Anyways, so, yeah, I probably will watch it. I, I was considering um, watching the boxing tonight. David Hay fighting someone. Uh, I'm rubbish for boxing, but I have heard this fight being advertised a lot. And they're sort of build, they're sort of entering WWE territory with some of the build-up here. Um, which I think is needed because I believe UFC is kicking not only WWE's ass, but boxing's ass at the moment. So they need um, to do this sort of build-up um, to get people to buy the fight and know about the fight because um, otherwise, you know, without the build-up, I probably wouldn't have been at all interested in seeing it. But it will be interesting to see if uh, David Hay wins. But uh, as I say, I think he will win. But what do I know about boxing? Nothing, not much. Anyway, it's just rambling on as usual. Um, I, I thought, yeah, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, there was um, a positive today. I mean, tonight for me is a bit boring because, you know, man, I'm not sure what to do with myself. You know, I could play old games, and but I'm just not in the mood for it. Um, but there was one positive thing. That happened today, and that was Rangers humping, humping Hamilton 6-0. Okay, actually, to be honest, the scoreline looks a lot better than it was. But it was just nice to see um, my team uh, deliver today. Um, but yeah, anyways, this is very random blog, and I'm nearly at five minutes, so I'm going to uh, stop it right here. But... Uh, for show face and uh, hope we're all having a great weekend and I'll see you all again in March very soon.